you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 7th third sunday of lent let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john chapter 2 verses 13 to 25 The Passover of the Jews was near, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple, he found people selling cattle, sheep and doves, and the money changers seated at their tables. Making a whip of cords, he drove them out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle. He also poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. He told those who were selling the doves, Take these things out of here. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, This temple has been under construction and for 46 years and will he raise it up in 3 days but he was speaking of the temple of his body after he was raised from the dead his disciples remembered that he had said this and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken when he was in jerusalem during the passover festival many believed in his name because they saw the signs that he was doing But Jesus on his part would not interest himself to them because he knew all people and needed no one to testify about anyone for he himself knew what was in everyone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, the Gospel presents a dramatic scene where Jesus shows himself as Lord of the Temple. It does not seem in character to see Jesus with his small whip of cords physically driving out the traders in cattle, sheep and pigeons, animals to be used in sacrifices. And the many changers, they were needed because, they, because only Jewish money would be offered in the temple. Roman kinds had the image of uh, Augustus and so were regarded as idolaters. They had to be exchanged for Jewish coinage. Jesus objected not to the trade as such, which was quite legitimate, but to its being done in the temple presence, my father's house. Take all this out of here and stop turning my father's house into a market. Such business should have been carried on just outside the temple presence, but also We know that in our own time, how can we try to get as close to the actions as possible, especially if they have competition. It is also not at all impossible that temple authorities connived at the practice and may have even benefited if the traders had to rent the spaces in the temple to do their business. This would explain the priest's anger at what Jesus was doing. What is going on here? What sign can you show to justify what you are doing? Jesus replies, Destroy this sanctuary and in three days I will raise it up. They came back. It has taken 46 years to build in this temple. And you can raise it in only three days? Jesus was speaking about another sanctuary, another temple where God lived in his own body. Through this event, we are reminded during Lent of uh, what we are preparing to remember and celebrate, the death and resurrection of Jesus. A hard saying, it is the very heart of our faith. But Paul explains, writing to the Corinthians, Jesus' death to the Jews and a stumbling block was a stumbling block, a scandal and insurmountable. obstacle. 
it was impossible for them to accept the Messiah, a savior king, who suffered such an ignominious death at the hand not only of Israel's enemies, but even more of his own people. That just could not be. God could not allow it. To the Gentiles, the pagans, it was meaningless. Power and dominion and influence were what counted in their world. The idea that someone executed like and with the common criminals should be worshipped as Lord was nonsense. It was something to be ignored and loved at and rubbished as it still is by many in our own society today. God's wisdom. But to those who have been called and who answer the call, be they Jews or Gentiles, men or women, slave or free, it is the power and the wisdom of God. The death of Jesus to any objective observers seems like utter failure. To believe in such a Lord seems stupid, but those with the eyes of faith can see the power of love in that death. Amen. May God bless us.